In this lesson, we're going to learn about algebraic fractions, what they are, and what undefined values are, as well as how to find them. Let's begin by talking about what an algebraic fraction is. An algebraic fraction is simply a fraction whose numerator and denominator are algebraic expressions. What on earth does that mean? Well, let's look at a few examples. Here's an algebraic fraction, 3x plus 5 divided by x minus 2. Notice that we have algebraic expressions, expressions involving variables, in the numerator and the denominator. Here's another example, 7 divided by x squared plus 2x minus 63. Notice that the denominator is a polynomial. One more example, 3 divided by x, certainly much simpler than the other two, but also an algebraic fraction. When working with algebraic fractions, we often have variables in the denominator, and we have to be very careful because there is danger in the denominator. We know that we cannot divide by zero. Division by zero in mathematics is undefined. Therefore, we have to use extreme caution. Any value of x that causes the denominator to equal zero is an excluded or undefined value. That's because this value would cause us to have division by zero. The fraction would be undefined. How do we determine the values that cause an algebraic fraction to become undefined? Well, very simple. We determine these values by setting the denominator equal to zero and solving to see the values that cause that denominator to be zero. Let's take a look at a few examples so you can see what I mean. For which value or values of x is the expression undefined? Here we have an algebraic fraction, x squared plus 3, divided by x minus 4. We want to know what numbers x could be that would cause this to have division by 0, 0 in the denominator. We look specifically at the denominator, and we make it equal to 0. x minus 4 equals 0. We solve that little equation, and we find that x equals 4. This fraction is undefined when x equals 4. Why is it undefined? Well, make note of this. If x equals 4, here's what we have. In the numerator, x squared plus 3 is 4 squared plus 3. In the denominator, 4 minus 4. That would give us, in the numerator, 19, and in the denominator, 0. We cannot divide by 0. It is undefined. Therefore, x cannot be 4 for this algebraic fraction. It is said to be the undefined value. Sometimes mathematicians will write this using set notation. They'll put the undefined values in these squiggly brackets, also called braces, in order to list them out. Let's look at another example here, this one for you to try. We have an algebraic fraction, x squared minus 1, divided by x plus 8. Can you identify the values that make this expression undefined? Please pause the video here and give it a try. Let's compare answers. We want to know what values of x cause the denominator to equal 0. So we look at the denominator, x plus 8, and we make it equal to 0. We solve for x, and we find that x equals negative 8. This fraction is undefined when x equals negative 8. We could also choose to write this using set notation, putting the negative 8 in the squiggly braces. Remember why negative 8 is the value that makes this fraction undefined. If we were to substitute negative 8 in place of x, we would find that we have 63 divided by 0. We can't divide by 0, and therefore negative 8 is an excluded value. It causes the fraction to be undefined. Here's another one for you to try. Can you find the values of x for which this expression is undefined? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's compare answers. We want to know what values of x would cause the denominator to equal 0. We set the denominator equal to 0, 5x minus 1 equals 0, and then we solve the resulting equation. We go through a few steps to get there, and we find out that x equals 1 fifth. 1 fifth is the excluded value that causes the expression to be undefined. 
so this fraction is undefined when x equals 1 fifth. We could of course choose to write our answer in set notation. Sometimes these problems can be a little bit trickier. Look at example 4. Here in the denominator we have a trinomial and it's much more difficult to solve this equation because we have both an x squared and an x. So here's how we'll do it. We will factor the denominator and then set each of the factors equal to zero. Here's how it's done. We want to look at the denominator x squared minus 5x plus 4 and set it equal to zero. In order to solve this equation what we have to do is we have to begin by factoring. We factor the polynomial to x minus 1 times x minus 4. Then we look at each factor separately. We look at the x minus 1 and set it equal to 0 and we look at the x minus 4 and set that equal to 0. We solve each of those little equations. On the left we have x equals 1. On the right we have x equals 4. Those are the undefined values. This fraction is undefined when x equals 1 or x equals 4. We could choose to list this using set notation. If you do, you separate the two numbers by a comma. Notice that I put the smaller number first in the larger number second. That's customary to do. Remember what these two values mean. They cause the original fraction to be undefined, in other words to give us division by zero. If I look at the original problem 9x minus 18 over x squared minus 5x plus 4 and for the sake of making life simple I put the equivalent factored form in the denominator and I substitute those numbers 1 and then 4 in, notice what happens. I end up in the first case with a 0 in the denominator, negative 9 over 0 and I know that that's not allowed. If x is 4, something similar happens. I end up with 18 over 0. Again, there's danger in the denominator. We can never divide by 0. Therefore, the excluded values are 1 and 4. Here's one like that for you to try. For which value or values of x is the expression undefined? 9x minus 36 divided by x squared plus 7x minus 18. Here we have a trinomial in the denominator, so we'll have to use our factoring trick like we did in the last exercise. Please pause the video here, give this problem a try, and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's compare answers. We began by factoring the trinomial, x minus 2 times x plus 9. We then set each of those factors equal to 0 and solve each one separately x equals 2 and x equals negative 9. These are the two values where the fraction is undefined. So the fraction is undefined when x equals 2 or x equals negative 9. Remember you can write this using set notation. Be sure to put the smaller number first and the larger number second. Let's end with one last example for today. x plus 8 divided by x squared minus 49. You might recognize that denominator as a difference of two perfect squares which can be factored. Go ahead and find the undefined values for this fraction. Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's compare answers. We begin by looking at the denominator x squared minus 49 and setting it equal to 0. We then factor x plus 7 times x minus 7 equals 0. We look at each factor separately and set that factor equal to 0. When we do, we find that our excluded values are negative 7 and positive 7. So this fraction is undefined when x equals 7 or negative 7. If you choose to use the set notation, be sure to put your smaller number first and your larger number second. Something really cool happens here. Notice that we have both positive and negative 7 at the same time. We can actually consolidate that into a single statement. We can write positive and negative 7 together as plus or minus 7 with a little plus or minus symbol 
which denotes positive 7 and negative 7. And if you choose to do that, you could say that this is undefined when x equals plus or minus 7, which means positive 7 or negative 7, as well as using set notation. And that's everything you need to know to get started working with algebraic fractions. You now know how to identify undefined values, and you're ready to go.